you will not do effort what uh, in this situation where you are living if you mm -hmm. will not effort then how you will out from that situation you okay. have to continue work and it may be that still you uh, you are not getting result but after some days uh, when you will continue work you will get result also and you will out from that situation whatever you are living and you are not feeling good that situation so definitely we have to hard work uh, we are just having the basic things so we don't have to work we just try to live a standard life so that's why we are doing the hard work even i am earning also but still i am running my youtube channel and i'm just trying to make a better better and better because i want to make a good life is it okay now yeah it's fine now so hi tenuja how are you hi i'm doing great thank you what about you yeah i'm good fantastic so how is everything going yeah everything is going very well and how is going your channel yeah it's going good i think it's going very good <laughs> <laughs> yeah so how do you get so much uh, subscriber in a very short time uh, suddenly do you yeah, upload any video there is any viral a viral video uh not really it was like 2000 or something views on one or two videos so that's why i think so okay and you are doing great that's why <laughs> thank you very less error and your spoken way is very good way that's why people thought that she is able to speak so um, that's why they connect i think so yeah it can be <laughs> but yeah, yeah. Uh, i think nowadays i'm not getting that kind of views on my videos so i have to work on work hard actually but yeah sometimes i don't get time to upload videos on the regular basis so that is the yeah. main problem but yeah It's i'm just doing also sorry because you are doing job also that's why mm -hmm. yes yes you know most of the uh, time i get time in the evening or night and that time it is not uh, i'm not able to shoot videos or especially the conversational videos because most of the people are not free at that time <laughs> yes so how uh, much time you have to uh, continue work work from home as a job i have to work for 9 hours uh, but yeah in the middle sometimes i get time if i don't have much work as uh, now my work is going on and i am just taking this session <laughs> okay <laughs> that's good and it is a benefit from uh, work from home yes right <laughs> yeah that's good so let's discuss today's topic that is poverty yes we can discuss <laughs> even i didn't get the chance to uh, see on this topic but i can tell you according to myself whatever things i can tell yes so okay so poverty is a very crucial topic nowadays because you know in india we are suffering a lot and most of the people who are living in the rural area uh, they are not uh, having this kind of facility even they don't have food shelter and clothing so in india it's a very biggest topic uh, to discuss about because Uh, there are a lot of millions of people who are suffering from this problem poverty so what do you think what is the main uh, reason behind it why so many people are living in that uh, that area that poverty line yeah of course uh, first of all i would like to share that what is the exact meaning of poverty i think this is a not exact definition generally we thought that uh, who don't have sufficient money that mm -hmm. is called poverty that uh, uh, who cannot complete their basic needs as you told me that uh, clothing food and shelter and water drink clean mm -hmm. water to drink so this is comes under the uh, those type of person comes under the poverty oh. but there is also another part of the poverty where people can complete these type of basic needs but uh, still they don't have complete uh, as living standard you can say that it is called i think uh, relative poverty relative poverty in the sense that where the people compare themselves as where they are living right right now uh, mm -hmm. according to their situation and if they compare others who are living with them 
and they feel that they are don't have such living standards for the other people having uh, at the same place so this okay. is also called uh, comes and this is the more percentage in india i think mm -hmm. uh, this if i talk about the data that the uh, poverty and below poverty very less people i cannot say too much but this is the most uh, percentage 84% of indians live are uh, under the relative poverty they can complete their basic needs but they cannot live they cannot complete living standard they cannot uh, means fulfill as the uh, upper after the basic needs as uh, good health check up regular check up as it is a necessary part of uh, uh, life and uh, the health issue education issue means they mm. complete basic, basic needs but the education health sector also having some deprived session yeah, they of. are not able to uh, take the good education they are not able to uh, go to good uh, uh, good hospital to uh, for yes. check up and uh, because they are able to like uh, uh, get the food or shelter but they are not able to do this kind of things like uh, if you uh, you have also seen that uh, so many people are there who wants to uh, who want to uh, their child to uh, study in a english medium school but they are not able to do so uh, yes. so yeah th as you told that is very right because now the people are comparing like this they are not living in that kind of a standard life so Yes, and most people who are living below average middle class, uh, mm -hmm. I cannot see uh, middle class having lack, lack of living standard, middle class complete everything in average level, but mm -hmm. below the middle class people are more percentage who are living in India. Yes. And they are not fulfilled their uh, such type of needs as uh, health and education you discussed right now. So this is the more problem and you asked me that what is the reason behind of uh, this poverty. So mm -hmm. of course, uh, as you know that we have uh, crossed 75 years as after dependent, uh, dependence of India, but still we are facing this challenge and this is a big challenge in front of uh, politician especially mm -hmm. and uh, they generally take as opportunity this as I know that uh, Indira Gandhi's slogan was uh, remove poverty and save country like this. Uh, Gribi Hatao uh, Nara she, uh, she, uh, said that uh, it was as a slogan and she used in to collect more vote in 1971 election. So mm -hmm. they, they feel that it is a used like uh, from where they can get more, more votes. So okay. they use this challenge as a beneficial way. So uh, giving some uh, money, they they distribute some money for for only get the votes. But I think this is no solution to remove the poverty. Yes. You can you know, uh, if you are disturbing uh, some amount of money, so you cannot remove the poverty. So mm -hmm. this is the basic reason that that the politician the way where the politician are working of course this is the main problem behind yeah. this yeah i would like to add more points here uh, like uh, there are so many other uh, things as well like uh, that is responsible for this poverty like uh, i can say the lack of uh, education and uh, or natural disaster like uh, you must have uh, seen that after the covid uh, we have lost so many things and uh, government was doing great in this way but after the covid uh, we got stuck in that thing so we are not doing uh, in this way like we have to remove the poverty so this is also the things and uh, availability of jobs as well like in market there are not uh, that kind of jobs available for all the people and i think most so many people are there they 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 don't really want to do the job or any kind of job you know i have seen so many people who are beggar i think so i feel like that they are very good they are very good health uh, but why they are not doing any kind of work so they because are just living their life money after having hands in front of any person so they don't want to do work yes so why they don't want to do work? So I still feel like that. 
this if they have good health they have hands and legs and they are able to do so why they are not doing work because they are getting money by uh, just uh, begging so they are just doing that thing i am just only uh, adding that if we are distributing money in uh, in the poor people that we cannot remove the poverty so we should uh, create education uh, system means mm -hmm. that uh, establish college schools for them provide uh, enough education and it's not enough education quality of education so that they can uh, self dependent after getting that qualification there are lots of person who having degree and they they don't get chance of doing job there hmm. is also uh, many people living and you are saying right that there are lots of person who don't want to job and not as a uh, talking about beggar there are also educated people who don't want to job because they feel that without doing job they are getting uh, enough food at least they are uh, fulfill their uh, hung hungry so no need to do work this is hmm. also a thinking of the people i think okay. so <laughs> so that's why <laughs> part of poverty if you will not do effort what uh, in this situation where you are living if you mm -hmm. will not effort then how you will out from that situation you okay. have to continue work and it may be that still you uh, you are not getting result but after some days uh, when you will continue work you will get result also and you will out from that situation whatever you are living and you are not feeling good that situation so definitely we have to hard work i yes, think this is really right. a solution to remove the poverty yeah and one more thing like uh, government is uh, doing lot of things uh, they are uh, uh, they are sending the lot of scheme like uh, pradhan mantri jan dhan yojana pradhan mantri awas yojana uh, this kind of yojana uh, they are doing but you know i think uh, the people are not able to take the advantage of that scheme especially the poor people are not able to do Uh, like rich people can uh, take the advantage of that scheme but poor people are not able to do uh, so i think so uh, this is also a reason because most of the people are not able to take the benefit of that scheme so what do you think is it correct yeah you are right that some people don't uh, know don't aware the these type of schemes so that's why they are not getting but they still after the bjp government the scenario has changed means the people aware and they are getting if i talk about my town and my village they are getting means everyone made made new houses because there was a pradhan mantri nivas i think uh, something yojana and they are getting money 5 lakh to okay. make a home mm -hmm. and they add some money from their side and they make very beautiful home in uh, in the villages so they are getting money from mm -hmm. the government and ujwala yojana also the uh, poor people are getting uh, uh, gas stove really? and gas cylinder so they are aware nowadays but i feel that if you are continue uh, spreading the things to the people i don't feel that they will able to do something because when i went at my la uh, village so uh, some labor came at uh, at my home and mm -hmm. they they were talking they actually they were going field to do mm -hmm. work something so uh, they get news that uh, the provider who gives uh, some job they are they denied that we will not give you uh, job work because you are asking more money so they left that work and came uh, in the village uh, means from the uh, field they came village and our home near at the uh, midway route so they mm. came at our home and they were talking like this with my mother so mm. i hear that uh, why they left that uh, work if they will not do work how will we, they will get money so they she told that uh, we have so much of uh, uh, grain something like rice and wheat from uh, the government side and we have ujwala yojana also mm. and we no need to take uh, and even uh, some amount of money our uh, uh, account also so mm -hmm. uh, we fulfill our basic needs no need to do work so uh -huh. i thought it means modi is doing wrong work if they are provide such things they are provide some uh, amount of money and uh, gas mm. cylinder and uh, grains wheat also so mm. it is 
they should not provide if they will provide then they will not work and if they will not work how this economy will grow up yes so right. this is the uh, thinking of the people if they are getting free that they don't want to do work so yes. we should think about this also <laughs> <laughs> they don't value of free thing <laughs> yes actually uh, when whenever they are if you are talking about the beggar they are they are uh, getting money without doing anything so mm-hmm. why they will do work if they are getting money mm-hmm. we are such type of person we have to work at any condition we we cannot say that uh, someone will uh, give uh, uh, free something i never uh, feel that we uh, don't give any uh, money and we di- we didn't pay any bill because we always get Uh, bill approx minimum 1000 and in the summer as ac going on so we mm-hmm. have to 7000 uh, also so mm-hmm. you can understand that uh, we are at that stage we cannot <laughs> uh, take any uh, benefit from the government's scheme also okay so we have to work <laughs> yeah and we don't think like that yeah uh, we are just having the basic things so we don't have to work we just try to live a standard life so that's why we are doing the hard work even i am earning also but still i am running my youtube channel and i'm just trying to make a better better and better because i want to make a good life for me and my parents so that's why i'm doing so as there are so many people who don't want to do this thing because they are just thinking yes we have this kind of facility so i just don't have to do this thing yes and you are right mm-hmm. we cannot and, uh, stop doing work yes and if we get a, a good opportunity other place where we can earn more right now as you are doing uh, this uh, package you are working but if you get chance uh, to another one then you will definitely switch to get yes. more uh, money of course mm-hmm. it depends with uh, still we have to work more there we will do yeah right yes so this is the uh, thing uh, related to poverty i think uh, of course uh, i think this is the main issue of the government if the government wants uh, to remove this but there should be a proper plan we cannot say that we left the uh, poor people uh, on their condition and we government should not work to uh, regards to to them no they have to work of course they they have to uplift their standard their uh, living standard and government is working a uh, nice way i think so yeah government is doing but it's our responsibilities as well like we have to put our efforts to do better and better because you know government is doing lot of things but people are not uh, able to utilize those things so we yeah. can't uh, only complain government so we have to also put our efforts complain the government only that they think that every work are uh, done by the government for them yes as you told like uh, government is helping in this way like they are providing so many things to remove the poverty but people are uh, like uh, not getting the benefit or uh, they are taking the wrong benefit from them so yeah. it is it should not happen yeah of course all things are depend on the mind what the people are thinking so what hmm. is the condition of mp yeah here also like in city that is good they people are uh, living the uh, like standard life i can say middle class they are but in rural area in some of the rural places people are uh, like we can say they are living a poverty and uh, yeah so uh-huh. yeah shivraj singh chohan so uh, what they are doing there they are doing good work or something is lacking yeah they are doing great job but you know uh, like i have heard about delhi so there are uh, uh, like chief minister is providing so many facilities uh, to their uh, what can i citizens but here i don't think so uh, like uh, shivraj singh chauhan is doing lot of this thing okay you uh, you mean that uh, the kejriwal is doing good uh, than the uh, shivraj singh chauhan to... <laughs> no uh, i understand the reality uh, really when one day there is a jam traffic jam on the main road so my mm-hmm. husband told that okay let's uh, go inside and we will come 
cut this jam okay so there is a, that type of road i cannot imagine in delhi there may be such bad thing you cannot uh, uh, means we are just uh, hearing uh, from the news that's why we understand that he is doing that uh, free water free electricity no they are not providing even it it has uh, uh, ended whatever the electricity uh, he was uh, providing free now it is not not to anyone uh, he said to that who want to free they have to full uh, uh, they have to fill a form and we will provide subsidy like this so mm -hmm. nowadays there is no one who are uh, not pay the bill of electricity okay so there there was a very bad condition of the road and there is no uh, any clean cleanness and i saw oh my god this is in delhi and the pe the people who are living there they they said that they are living in delhi and what is the condition of air really mm -hmm. okay i surprise after seeing that and what he said that we are making so many uh, mohalla clinic like this there is no any mohalla clinic there is no any uh, good yes they provide uh, less amount uh, medicine uh, from the dispensary so mm -hmm. this is the food for the pe poor people not for like us so we don't go the dispensary we generally mm -hmm. prefer private hospital so this is not useful for uh, middle class also so because they also have to pay bill electricity bill water bill and they are not getting good road good traffic they have to pay tax also on their uh, income so mm -hmm. they are not uh, getting uh, good things from the government and he is not doing a great job no he is uh, making only infrastructure of the school and they is still the same uh, education they are providing there is no any improvement so I because i have heard so many things about uh, delhi like uh, free buses for girls and free uh, free electricity and uh, you know in government school there are english medium school as well uh, in government but here this is not kind of uh, facility here only yeah, english I medium school that, is yeah. is a school is better than the other state i can say that but mm -hmm. we can say uh, the government school is equal to private school in delhi no there is a huge difference and no one uh, our middle class also don't want to send their children in the government school if okay. they are having enough money they want to send in the private school okay. and yeah there is a free buses also uh, i can say free for girls Mm -hmm. for only females uh, free bus tickets but whenever i one time i used bus and this was electro electric bus so i asked i said to them that there is a, a female free then he said no in the electric bus there is no free <laughs> okay you know one time also uh, my friend was insisting me to uh, sit in a bus so i just uh, i just get on the bus and uh, you know there was a very rush uh, very very crowded crowded bus and uh, i had to uh, get down uh, on my destination so you know i was not able to uh, what can i say nikali nahi pa rahi thi main usme se and uh, then what happened i i get on after one station after that because i was not able to <laughs> get down from the bus yes. that was very crowded so that time i decided i will never <laughs> i will never try bus again <laughs> so did you use in delhi bus sometime yes yes okay yes. you are talking about delhi yes yes <laughs> okay. actually after marriage i didn't get chance to take bus and metro also i miss uh, these things and okay. uh, we take if my husband is not free i took cab uh, from ola or uber and mm -hmm. uh, generally we always go to buy uh, buy our car so i miss that thing that i i want to go <laughs> public transport also yeah only one time i used that bus and uh, that time i decided no i will never try it again <laughs> but we should try because we we should habitual these thing also we we should not uh, such type of comfort that we cannot face such things yes and everybody was telling me that if you will uh, feel like uh, scared or it uh, 
and if you are too inno innocent in that verse so you can never get done from that verse <laughs> yes that's why we have to uh, means uh, continue doing with the men means that when whenever we get chance uh, mm -hmm. taking public transport and it is said that uh, generally people said that who lived in delhi and using public transport of delhi he will be more strong <laughs> it is generally yes. said and it's yes. true i yeah. always stay, take i always took metro uh, before marriage generally public transport i used but after marriage i didn't get chance mm -hmm. i yeah once i used to go office so i used to you know change three time uh, like uh, what can i say e rickshaw and metro and auto Where i used to go with uh, that was in sector 126 no it's not it's Okay, Noida. Okay, my husband office also in Noida. Okay. <laughs> He so I go to buy car. Okay. Mm hmm. It is good for uh, who have their own vehicle. No, I think this is not good because there is lots of traffic jam. Traffic. Because mm -hmm. of traffic jam, he had to uh, out uh, means leave home before half hour. Means thirty mm -hmm. minutes. before and, yes, and yes. that's why he uh, can go very smoothly otherwise if uh, sometimes he get late so he always is stuck in traffic and <laughs> then maybe chance uh, that uh, on the time because uh, they have to uh, reach on the time there is a punching machine <laughs> yes yes yeah there right. is overloaded crowd in delhi there mm -hmm. is not uh, means whenever uh, holidays going on then they the road feel relax otherwise <laughs> there is a overloaded traffic yes yes i have also seen this <laughs> so how many times you uh, visit delhi or you sometimes you lived here yeah i lived there for 3 or 4 months uh, when i joined my organization so that time i used to go uh, office because i had to work from office so you lived in noida or delhi Noida, and one of my relatives lives in Delhi, so I used to go there. Okay, that means you are aware of the things of Delhi very well. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> okay, so do you want to uh, say something or let's over this conversation? Ah, we can wind up because I I am just doing my office work as well. <laughs> okay, okay. Thank let's you so go. much and. Yeah it was nice conversation with you <laughs> same here and thank you so much for that yeah bye bye okay. have bye. a nice day